people don't realize it, but it's important when you're measuring that you fit both feet. You don't fit a shoe heel to toe, you fit a shoe heel to ball, where the foot flexes. In Megan's position, as you can see, she's got a bit of swelling around the ankle area there through an accident. So we try and get a shoe with balance to eliminate the stress on that ankle. When we began, we began with the purpose of a comfort shoe that, that had a, you know, a real sort of, um, a bit of a fashion flavour to it or a bit of a fashion edge to it. Well, 62, I came to Australia. 73, I started my own business. Dad had established the, the wholesale links across Australia. We're in our Burswood warehouse here, and uh, we do uh, we wholesale about eight different brands of uh, shoes and socks across Australia and New Zealand, selling to about uh, 250 independent retail stores. And we do have a strong family emphasis. Uh, my wife is a major part of the business and buying. My sister is heavily involved in the marketing side of things. My brother-in-law looks after the graphic and IT design. Um, my cousin Declan looks after the operations. I look after the seven Paul Carroll stores. They look after the 35 staff that we have. My responsibility is to make sure that they're well trained so they know how to fit customers when they walk in and they can use a Brannock measure. Is there any pressure points across the ball or the foot? No, it feels good. Feels good. A little bit of bling, if you like a little bit of bling. I like bling. Mm -hmm. I know. You look like a bling girl. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> So Dad had the Stewart Hill store and then expanded into um, Claremont and Fremantle. That was when I first needed more money because we were expanding and we went to the bank to see if they would come to the party and they didn't. So we went to uh, Bank West and Bank West looked at our papers and said, wow, definitely. And I've been with Bank West, or Or and I, ever since. And eventually um, we got on to Steve and uh, Steve Elliott. Personally, I've had a relationship with the group for 14 years, um, and uh, in that time, we've seen the business grow uh, considerably. I find it very easy to to pick up a phone, ring through, and say, "Look, uh, I need to do this, 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 and this." And within 10 minutes of speaking to them, I have a definite answer. And I think that's what allows a business to grow. If business is growing; you have to keep on. Yeah. And moving towards, you get a good bang to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think retail in general has been really uh, difficult over the last two to three years. Um, the Paul Carroll Group has probably gone against the trend and have grown through that period. I think when the when the crisis came, we went a little bit the other way. Um, I guess we had some confidence and talk of mining and, and, and booming Western Australia, and we continued to, to push hard. We advertised more, we doubled our advertising, we, we pushed extra hard. I think there's a bit of pride in it being a long-term family established business. Some steps that they took years ago when they created their own brand has again seen them, you know, be able to buck that trend. And we designed something with a little bit of fashion, which is ideal for people who had an orthotic because they could remove uh, yeah, yeah. the appliance that was in it. It allowed them to place their orthotic into the shoe, mm. and yet you still, still had the, an attractive shoe. Design, yeah. Where we are today is our new store in the city, in the heart of the city centre on William Street. And this is sort of the new look that we're about, that we're going for. We've got, this is store number seven. Paul is taking a bit of a backward step now. Uh, John's really taken the business to the next level. We've got staff um, that are passionate about footwear. We've got management that are passionate about footwear. So yeah, absolutely excited about the future, about where we, where we can go in the, in the years to come. Bankwest was there to support us, to, to build and, and to, to strive and, and, and take the risk to grow. And I have, as I said, eight grandchildren and uh, I, I try to do the right thing by all of them. And, and I think that if your business is, is successful, you can do this, but you can only do it if you have a backing of someone where you know it's going to work. Yeah, I, I think the relationship that we have in them, the confidence that we have in them and the confidence they have in us, it's, it's a reciprocal confidence and it, it makes business easy.